Today we are going to reflect on the new life of God. Our reading is from John 21 to 18. Mary was standing outside the tomb crying, and as she wept, she stooped and looked in. She saw two white robed angels, one sitting at the head and the other at the foot of the place where the body of Jesus had been laid. Dear woman, why are you crying? The angels asked her. Because they have taken away my Lord, she replied, and I don't know where they have put him. She turned to leave and saw someone standing there. It was Jesus, but she didn't recognize him. Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked her. Who are you looking for? She thought was the gardener. So she said, Sir, if you have taken him away, tell me where you've put him, and I will go and get him. Mary, Jesus said. She turned to him and cried out, Rabboni, which is teacher in Hebrew. Don't cling to me, Jesus said, for I haven't yet ascended to the Father. But go, find my brothers and tell them, I'm ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene found the disciples and told them, I've seen the Lord. This passage brings us so much hope that after 2,000 years, Jesus had 120 followers when he went up to heaven, not as a dead man, but alive. Today, we are over 2 billion followers. If that is the followers of a dead man, that wouldn't have been the case. Twelve of his first apostles died for their faith. They died because they were saying that someone that the Romans had killed was actually alive and he was their king. Who would die for a lie? And today we can have hope that there is new life for you, for me, that for those who trust in the Lord, they will have eternal life. And this is not the end. This is our hope at Easter. This is the Christian hope for us all. God bless you. Have a good Easter. Bye-bye.